Hello there. Welcome. It's Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. It is Wednesday afternoon where I am. Um, is it afternoon? I don't know. It's almost afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. Anyway, I'm here to bring you a preview video for um, my live sale, which will be tomorrow, Thursday, April 20th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is primarily an auction. I do throw in some buy it nows, like sale buy it nows and stuff. And um, we try to have a fun time. Um, if you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping in. I'll try not to be too much of a nut right now. I am having a spell of insomnia, so I'm very spacey, more than normal, which is really hard to, to visualize, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, if you've not yet registered, please do. If you would like to participate in tomorrow evening's um, live sale, all I need you to do is um, send me an email. I'll have all of my email information in the description box or in the title sequence down below. I'm going to need your uh, YouTube name, your real name, your email associated with your PayPal account, um, the country and uh, zip code state in which you reside. And that's it. Pretty simple, simple. Okay, let's see. Now, most, I'm going to show you stuff, some stuff. Um, there, I do do some buy it. Uh, oh gosh, see, I told you I was out of it. I do do some pre-sales, excuse me, pre-sales. Um, so I don't know right now what's going to be for pre-sale, what's not. Um, well, I do know some things that are not, they're just auction. But if you're curious, you could always just email me. Um, I do have to take my son to a doctor later today. So if I'm not available ASAP, that is the reason. Um, but I'm pretty good at emailing you all back, or at least I try to be. Okay, so let's just get going. I'm gonna, I'll start with something that's not over there. So um, I had the opportunity to go to a um, Alexis Bitar, like trunk show type thing um, a while ago, it wasn't too, too recently. Um, it wasn't recently at all, anyway. And um, I was able to acquire this fantastic bracelet. Now, Alexis Bitar, he's a fantastic <clears throat> designer. He's a jewelry designer. He's been around for quite a while. Alexis is a boy. Just I hear a lot of people say, she, she, she. No, he's a man. Um, but he makes fantastic lucite and crystals and all sorts of things. High quality, really well made. Uh, designery, designery prices. That goes with it. Uh, sold at department stores, like higher end department stores and stuff. Anyway, but I love these colors for spring and summer. The plaque is in there. It is in fantastic condition. Um, I don't think I've ever worn it, to be quite honest with you. I think I bought it and I just kind of put it away. Because <laughs> that's just the way I kind of roll, huh? So I've got that beauty. And I do know that I have some people who are like, whatever, they don't care about designers. But I have some people that love Alexis Bittar in particular. So I thought I'd bring that. Um, anyway, the next one I'm going to show you is going to be an auction piece um, because it's fantastic. So this is sterling silver. Um, I think it's a rehabbed bracelet. Um, when I say that, I mean, I don't think it's all original parts. I could be wrong. It was sold to me um, as an antique, but I do not think antiques, I can't get this off. I do not remember antiques having safeties on them like that. So, you know, I'm gonna say that this is vintage. I don't know, you know. Um, this might be the antique, I have no idea, but I do know that it is fabulous um, and it is adjustable because it is a buckle bracelet. Let's see if I can even get this open right now because I am there. There we go. Duh, Kirsten is a buckle. So something like that. It is fabulous. It is not in perfect condition. There's like a little nick right there. So I like this because it is highly adjustable. So you can have a tiny little wrist or a bigger wrist and it will do amazing for you. There you go. There's a little it's like a little imperfection in the mesh part, but it doesn't stick up or anything. So, yeah. Oh, excuse that. I fell asleep with wet nails. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you get sheet marks on your nails. I'm such not a girly girl. I try to be, uh, despite myself, and <sighs> I fail, fail at it. Anyway, I love this piece. I, yeah, I did put it on when it came to me. Of course I did, and I did kind of think I was going to keep it. I sure did, and then I talked myself out of it because I didn't buy it for me. I bought it for someone out there in this wonderful world we all live in. Let me pull this back up. Anyway, so this is amazing. I'm babbling over absolutely nothing. I apologize. Wow, I really need to take a nap. But no time, no time today. Anyway, this is going to be an auction piece. It is fabulous. Heavy. Like, you'll know it's on you. Okay. Speaking about heavy, I just see my awesome ring. Haha. -ha. Okay. I got that baby. I got that baby. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so every week I kind of do, not, they've turned into themes. I don't know why I've pushed myself into that hole. It's difficult, I'll tell you. Um, but this week is more uh, the Sterling Turquoise uh, Navajo, not all Navajo. I mean, obviously this incredible sage. And now this is going to be an auction piece, but look at this. Look at this. I've got the Jade Mother of Pearl Sterling. And look at the crystal necklace. The little glass tubey bits. I have no idea. It's incredible. This is a big piece. Look how big. Look at that. Oops. And she has a pin pendant. Although I do not know how to get the pendant off of here. So I think sometimes I learned this. I don't know if y'all know this. You probably do. And I'm just late to the party. But um, sometimes you'll see a huge heavy pendant with a pin behind it. And you're like, why would there be a pin if you can't take it off of its, its necklace part? It's so you can, it's so heavy that it might sit funny or something, or if it's not a balanced piece, sometimes it's more sculptural rather than balanced, where you can actually snip it on, you know, pin it onto your top that you're wearing so it stays still. So you're not walking around and it's like crooked or I don't know. That's what I've, I've learned recently. And I don't know why I didn't realize that, but I think that's ingenious. Anyway, this is incredible. Look at the crystals. She's beautiful. I've never seen one quite like this. Like this, I don't know. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay. Um, I also, I'm bringing a big mix here, as always. Okay, this is a Haskell brooch. I was trying to get the, what is it called? The Fruity 2D one that has all the different color uh, check glass pieces, but that one was not for resale price, so I was able to get this pretty one. Or is it focusing now? Come on, let's focus. You can do it. There we go. Here's the back. Upside down, I don't know. And look at the gold tone, it's in really good condition. I have gotten house goals where unfortunately they're not in great condition. This one's in really nice condition. There's no verdigree, there's hardly any fading. The only fading I see is honestly a little tiny bit on the back and really not even that much, which I was psyched about because you can't always tell when you buy online. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, I did do a short with this, and quite a few people liked it, so I figured I'd bring it, you know, I don't know. Okay, so this is sterling silver and carnelian. It's a bracelet. This is not great. This is going to be an auction piece because there was, like, six people that showed interest, and so I don't want to sell it, and then those people come to my auction and it not be available. So, um, yeah. Look how cool. It's beautiful and I like that there's a bunch of links so it is adjustable from a tiny wrist to I wouldn't say a large wrist okay I can always add for you please keep that into mind because I do know I've sold quite a few bracelets or I've shown quite a few bracelets where they might be like a size seven but someone's like I wear a seven and you know three quarters or whatever it is and I'm like if it's one that I can add sterling links to I most certainly will for you um no extra chart, nothing. You know, I just do it because why not? You know what I mean? Um, I do have sterling links right now. I don't always, but I do right now. So just keep that in mind with certain bracelets. Um, don't be discouraged. Uh, some of them I can't extend, but, you know, if I can, I will. Okay. Got that one. Okay. Now, this is, I love this one. This is um, gold from May over sterling. So some of the sterling is starting to come through. Um if I was to keep this, I'd either just wear it like this or I would actually get the gold vermeil off of it, which with a good cleaning cloth or a dip, but not dipping it, just doing it on the, you know, carefully, you can get the, you get it off or just wear it as is and it'll come off by itself. Um, anyway, this is blue glass. This is a vintage piece. It's fabulous. And it is sterling under here. So it's, yeah. if you watched me at all, you know how much I love my blue glass. So I had to buy it, had to buy it because I love it. Okay, and, then, um, and that can be for pre-sale. This is also one that can be for pre-sale. This one's fabulous too. The same thing, this is Gold Vermeil over Sterling. And it is so cool, I don't know what these are. They are not Dragon's Breath, I'm pretty sure. They don't, I, I've never had Dragon's Breath with that much blue in it. Um, so I, they might just be like a cool glass, you know, some other kind of art glass. Or they could be a dragon's breath that I don't know about, and I'm about to sell it for a very reasonable price. I have no idea. Don't know. I just thought it was really sweet. And it is sterling with the gold vermeil on top. And, you know, I mean, I just like layering, you know, put them next. Look at them. Look how great. Layer, layer, layer. Anyway, so we've got these babies. Okay, 
Um, bah, bah, bah. And I do have some costume that I'll be bringing as well. Let me see, I'll grab one just to look at this beautiful brass beauty. Isn't she pretty? The little gray crystals. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is Sadie Green. I have a love affair with this person. Not really, but I do like her. Yeah, Sadie Green. It's a little Sadie Green piece. It's in perfect condition, or near perfect, I should say. I love it. So pretty. This is, to me, a stacker for sure. Okay. Let's see here. And then, okay, this one's a weird one. When I say weird, like, whoever, it's a really cool bracelet, I'll show you, but the middle panel, the stones are laid in there in weird. So if you see, like, do you see how they're like kind of askew? I mean, what's on it, you know, can you see? Let me try. You can't really see, but up close, you can see that they're not in there properly. There you go. Can you see that? How there's a little bit of, but when you look on head on to it, you don't see space. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just not the right size. Not sure. It's how it came to me. I love the purple and the this blue is beautiful. I think it's really cool. Okay, let's see how. How are you? Okay, this is sterling silver in Cal Sydney. There's a toggle. Like this kind, I cannot make larger or smaller because I don't have the right stuff. This I love. I love this color, Cal Sydney. I want to. Keep selling rings that I have in this color. I need to save one for me because I love it. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at that stack, too. Gorgeous. I gotta get a sip of my, my hot tea. Excuse me. Okay. Um, real quick. So I have some fantastic. This will be an auction piece. This is turquoise Navajo. Incredible. The donuts graduated. This is also uh, a Navajo, uh, who is this by? This is um, Ava, A-V-A. This is all sterling silver, turquoise, and I don't know what this brown stone is. I'll show you. This is really, I put this on, this is gorgeous. Like, you wouldn't think this would be my cup of tea, and I put it on, and oh, but yes, this is my cup of tea. <laughs> um, it is amazing. Um, and you can look up A-V-A Navajo jewelry. Um, she makes incredible things. It's all handmade. I don't know what this stone is. Uh, if someone knows, please tell me. It's. I don't know what it is. I could do my research. I just, yeah, I'm just not doing it. Okay, this is all sterling here, and then so you could have it adjustable. Here's the front, really beautiful designs. Oh, and then we have the hand bench beads. Handmade bench beads in there, sterling. Really, really. Yeah, I was happy to find this one. Love it. Love it. The colors are. Just a really rich, classical colors. I don't know, with a younger, hip designer, Navajo. Really cool. Cool piece, cool piece. I will have, I have amber and turquoise multi-strand over there. Um, what else? Might as well show you some rings, I guess. Okay. I've got this beast. <sighs> Look at this. I can't compare it to this one because this one's dumb big. Let me put it on this finger here. You ready? You ready? Okay, now this is a size seven-ish. So it's too big on me, but look how big this chunk of love is. Excuse my hands, there we go. Look at what is happening. She's huge and beautiful and with all the matrix in her. Look at that. She is an unsigned beauty. Oh, is she signed? I thought, I told someone she wasn't. I don't think she is. No, she's not signed. And I just absolutely love how like the design doesn't just stop on the front. It goes around, so it just shows quality piece, thought out. And it's huge turquoise, look at that, what is happening? It's, let me measure it, let me just measure that big face of that turquoise. This big beauty is, she's over, a little over two inches, she's like two and a quarter from here to here, so, you know, from the face. Fantastic. She's got the pyrite in her, and yeah. She's a good one, she's a good one, she's, not a keeper for me because she's too big for me, but she is somebody's keeper, I hope. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to mix up sizes, so I <laughs> it's so hard to get. So I do have some larger sizes. Not many. What am I saying? This 
beauty is a larger size, which is, I never get them in uh, uh, Navajo pieces or anything. So this, when I say larger, oh, you're gonna all yell at me. This is almost a nine, okay, geez. Kirsten, okay, so it's not quite a nine, it's almost a nine. We've got the uh, coral and turquoise, sterling. Finger crawler is what they're called, so I can show you the face of her. She's so pretty, look, ready? She's got really nice presence, but she's not fat, so she's comfortable. Sometimes like this one, as much as it's an amazing ring, it's really not the most comfortable ring in the world, okay? Honestly, because it's just big and fat and kind of cumbersome. This is the kind that you put on, doesn't bother you at all. I love this, really pretty. So this one's almost a nine, not quite. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, and then I do have a couple people that are deco people who love their art deco. Okay, uh, this is not costume, this one is sterling silver. Okay, it's a necklace. I should have it on a bust, but I don't, so I apologize. This is sterling silver, and we've got the uh, clear quartz crystals and I don't know if it's black crystal or if it's stone. I have not tested that. I should. It's probably glass is what I'm assuming. Fantastic. I collect these. This particular style for some reason. I love them. Um, here's the clasp. Like I said, this one's not costume. This one isn't sterling. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. It's un unusual. I've never owned one that had the black and the clear together. And this also comes with little earrings. I'll grab it in a second. So pretty, so, I don't know, like this is something you just keep forever. At least I do, because I have a few. And it has these little earrings, now they are clippies, but it's what, you know, it's just what there was. Um, let me get it in frame, so there's two of them, I'm just gonna show you one. So, do what you want, it's gonna just come with the piece, you know. Sterling as well. So it's a pretty, pretty piece. What else am I gonna show? How about, I don't know, how about that? Um, gosh, I'm so not prepared. That is much, much more prepared than this. Evidently I'm not. Okay, I have, oh, I don't even know. I wasn't gonna, sh I'll show it, I'll show it, why not? Okay, I'm still doing research on this piece, okay. Um, some, first we thought it was a Haskell, we, the person I was doing research with, and then the clasp isn't 100% right, so I'm not gonna claim that it is. Uh, did I show this? I don't think so, anyway. So here's the glass beads. And it comes down to this gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's the clasp. Now this part's right, but, 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 from the research I've done in the books that I have, Haskell doesn't have, she's got plain hooks. I guess they're not, they don't have a design, a rib in it. Like see how there's a little seam in that? So I don't think this is correct. This is, she used, it's so, conf it's so confusing. She used this exact piece here, but not, I guess, on this. If I'm wrong, someone correct me because it's gonna affect the price, obviously. Um, but um, somebody made this because it is heavy. It is really, really well made. <sighs> and so many people worked under her, worked for her, ripped her off. You know, like, <laughs> like so I don't know. Um, this is in great condition. All stones are present. There is no verdigree whatsoever, no chips that I can see in the glass. And it is just beautiful. Beautiful. Really good piece. So hopefully I will have be able to bring this tomorrow just so I can, um, I just need to get a better idea. And if I can't figure out who it is, and I'm just gonna come up with the price and it's gonna be what it is. Um, Cause it's, you know, not gonna do me any good. <laughs> just sitting here, right? Um, wait, where's the other thing I was gonna show? Oh my goodness, where'd it go? I don't even know. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. Okay, now I don't even know if any of my um, costume jewelry name brand people watch my previous to be quite honest with you but i'll show them anyway this is a uh, joseph of hollywood um yeah now if you know joseph of hollywood pieces they go for a lot of money these are clip-ons there's one boo-boo there's a tiny little chip right there let me see come on zoom 
You see, a little chip right there. So on, you can't see it. That way you can see it. For resale purposes, um, that's there. So it'll still go for great money, but not what it could go for, for this particular style. They are side pieces. It is signed right there. Um, yeah, so even with that little BB down there, look at that, look at the brush gold, the Russian gold as it's called, this coloring. It's not gold, it's costume, but still. And the signature is right there. Really, really cool. So I will have these um, tomorrow if anyone's interested. I will make sure I have them out here. Let's see. Um, and they are, they, there's a boo-boo, so obviously the price will reflect that uh, by quite a bit, actually. Um, let me see. Sorry for that noise. I just have to keep them all packaged up because I don't want anything else to happen. So, right? That would be a shame. Okay, have I, where did I show that? I don't even know. So, I, like I said, I have I have some stone necklaces, which I don't normally have a bunch of them, but I have some really beautiful, uh, the, who is it? Desert, Desert Rose Trading Company. Um, J. King, hold on, grab it. This one is gorgeous. This one's actually really beautiful. Okay, so it is signed somewhere on here. Starling. We have the carnelian, and then we have the faceted um, amethyst. This is a very long piece. Look at that. Gorgeous, look at those colors together. Look at that beauty. Got this beauty. Okay. And that, wait, see, let me close that up. And then this is a, uh, who is it? Relia, Relia, Carol, oh gosh. Carolyn Pollock? Yeah, Carolyn Pollock. Um, I don't know if this is Royal Crusade. I'm not sure. It looks a little dark for it, Crusade. Anyway, so Sterling Silver, Carolyn Pollock, and then is this Royal Crusade? Just a darker pink? I don't know. And these are all Sterling little balls. Look at the chain, how that has all the detail, the ribbing on it. It's so cool, actually. Really nice detail, which also matches the Sterling balls in there. So nice. Carolyn Pollock. And what else? I don't know, just stuff. I got earrings, I've got all these pretty necklaces. Um, yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. Literally, stuff everywhere. Um, what else do we want to show right now? This might be good. Is that a good is that good enough? Do you think? What do you think? Um, saving the purple glass for next week. Sorry. Oh, okay, I'll show these. I forgot. Why did I not show this? Okay, um, this is this is the one that's a larger size. No, 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 this is an eight. I've got this beautiful Navajo. Wait, is this one Navajo? Give me a second. Some of them are Navajo and uh, Zuni making <laughs> the same type of thing. So this is, this one is Navajo. Sorry, it's R uh, RN and RN Sterling. Anyway, so we've got the petite point turquoise Sterling. This is a vintage piece. I love this. is one of my favorite style rings because they're very easy to wear. They curve to your finger and they're not heavy. So when I find them at good prices, I like to buy them. And it has, it's a nice size. It's a really good, it's a good ring. This is literally the classic ring that you would, you know, in anyone's collection who collects Native American jewelry or wants to start. This is a great type of ring to start with. This is a one and a half inch face. Really pretty. So I've got that baby. And then this one is really cool. Oh gosh, okay, this one's a smaller size. This one's a size, oh, it's my size, so yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? So this is like a spiny oyster turquoise uh, Mojave mix. Okay, I don't, don't ask, okay. Size six sterling silver. Isn't that beautiful? Why is my camera not focusing? There we go, let's see. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the mixture of the colors. I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like. It's a nice size ring. And 
it is signed. What is it signed? I don't know. Let's see. It has a symbol. Oh, I can't see it right now. Gosh. I finally am getting my eyes checked in. Oh, it's two weeks. It's as soon as I can get us in, which is kind of silly, but not next week, but the following week. I can't. There's some symbol on it. Is it an eagle? Is it, I don't know. I'll have to look it up that the signature or the signature. I can't even tell, but it is signed and then it, yeah. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. So I guess I can need to put that somewhere up here. Oopsie, oopsie, it'll, it'll be here. <laughs> I'll just move it over there. Um, anyway, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. Have a fabulous Wednesday. Um, if there is anything that you're curious about, let me know. Let me see real quick. Um, I have really pretty just vintage sterling silver and different types of amber line bracelet, which is always a fun thing to have. And this just clips on like that. Great for layering with lots of silver. Just layer that. Look at that. Just look at that. See? Layer it on. Layer, layer. Anyway, hope to see everyone tomorrow. Um, even if you're not there to buy, just come in and say hi. I'd love to, to say hello, hang out, have a great evening. Um, I'll have all the information down below. Anyway, peace, love, and hugs. I'll talk to you later. Bye.